This is EA Sports coverage of the PGA Tour. Frank, what should the golfers be looking out for today? Uh, Going to have to play well from tee to green for a start. That's where most of the problem is. Um, it sets up beautifully for a uh, what we call a second shot golf course, providing you can get the ball in play. You will get rewarded for good iron play around here. The reason why is because when you miss, you're penalized. Here we are at the first tee, ready to kick off the round, Frank. Good tee shot straight out of the gate. You're going to need it on a hole that's close to 450 yards. Doesn't really matter if you cut it or draw it. Just be wary of that bunker that sits on the right side. Frank, this one's going too far left, it looks like. Yeah, it was fine there for a little while, but if it keeps going left, it's doomed. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. Excellent drive, Frank, right where you want to be. sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Frank did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah. In the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with Park. Second shot for Miguel Angel Jimenez. Oop, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. So the second of the par four goes begging, and now I'll have to rely on the short game. Yeah, but a short game, as we all know, can uh, redeem a lot of mistakes. Let's see if he does it here. Frank, this one's headed way right. And rough trees, all sorts of problems on that right side. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're licking your chops over that one. A shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. And he's made it onto the green. Just a couple of feet. And so just getting started, even par so far. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Still even par for the day. Good work right there. He'll settle for par. Frank, this is a nice looking hole. Not long, only 371 yards, but challenging in its own way. It is challenging. Uh, the best approach here really is a conservative tee shot to set up an aggressive second. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker.
Well, that was a beautiful drive, Frank. Really good position to take advantage. Uh, sitting up beautifully in the fairway. the fairway in the fairway bunker now. It's not all gloom and doom though. Lip isn't too high. A good swing here still shouldn't be a problem. Well that's how you play the game right there. Knock it on the green and give yourself a good look at birdie. Here's Brant Snedeker now on the approach shot. This is a good looking shot. All right, Frank, what's the player looking at here on the second hole with the approach shot? Well, Rich, notice the, the bunker that cuts into the green on the left side. It turns it into a crescent-shaped green. So really, there's three distinct sections, the one in the back, the one in the middle, and the front. Just be very wary of where the flag is here. Licks with a birdie attempt here. Minus one, and here we go. Some snack, though. Not too much, and not too little. Perfectly played into the center of the cup. Even par, currently. Did the job right there. Frank, Pete Dye certainly gives you a variety of holes, and, and we see that. Granted, three par fours to start, but each one with a different look. They certainly are, Rich, and it's amazing what one good bunker will do. And the bunker I'm referring to is the one down the left side. Um, it's about 285 yards to carry. It's the sort of bunker that keeps you honest. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. Headed for the bunker? Not quite what he wanted. Tee shot is in the bunker. Digs in, ready for the bunker shot. Yeah, second shot here. Just trying to aim a little bit behind that ball, an inch or two. Not his best shot, and now he'll have to deal with the bunker. Yeah, they say the hardest shot in golf the next one. Second shot coming out of the rough here. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in play. Played the smart shot right there. Frank, what's the best way to get at this hole location here at number three? If there's a desired shot pattern, it's a little draw off the tee and a little draw in. And the reason why, if you look at the shape of that green, it's on a 45 degree angle to the left. So it really does suit a shot coming in from the right. 
Blix now ready for his third shot. That should be pretty good right there on the safe side. Well, that is a ball striking clinic right there. Another dazzling approach shot. Pretty close. Well, bunker play is really about technique and feel. The two greatest ever are probably Gary Player and Seve Ballesteros. Seve actually was so good, he was so skilled that he could open up a three iron. That's right, a three iron on a short bunker shot from a green side bunker and splash it to a couple of feet as if he had just used a 60 degree sandwich. Amazing. Remember out of the rough, expect the ball to jump forward a little bit. Well, that's the best that was going to be on the fringe. Not too bad. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Just singes the edge, Frank. Yeah, but at least he's burning the edges. You know you're hitting good parts. Here's the colorful Jonas Blixt. Good putter. And this is for par. One under early in the round. Now he has this for double bogey. That's plain not fair. Boy, this game is cruel, Frank. You get on a roll and then smack. Hits you right in the face and knocks you down. Clean this up with a tap. So with that, the score is now at even par. Now to the fourth, 192 yards and a pretty tough hole location here today. Brody try up next. How tough is this going to be now from the rough, Frank? Oh, it's tough to say, Rich. I mean, so much is going to depend on that lie. I'm going to need a little bit of luck. Second shot from the rough. It's on the way. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. On the way. Normally you'd be happy to take two from there. What's one gonna feel like? Great pop. Locked in on the read and the speed. And Snedeker needs this for a par. That's a par, and that keeps the scorecard clean, still even for the round. Nothing wrong with that par putt. 
So we played our first par three. Now to the first par five on this golf course at PGA West. It is the 535 yard fifth hole. Frank, it appears as though it rewards precision off the tee. And the Bombers too. You can run out of water at 335 yards. So for the Dustin Johnsons of the world and the Rory McIlroy's, that's nearly doable. But um, <laughs> if you can't hit it that far, it's quite obvious. You've got to keep it down the right side. And uh, for those people, they put two little bunkers there. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Not looking good, Frank. No, I think it's wet. So, drop the shot after ending up with the water on that uh, recent miscue. This now the fourth shot after the last one was in the water. Yeah, just uh, somehow just get it on the green. This has to go in the hazard. Needs to get up, or it's good news is, was able to retrieve the golf ball. Uh, yeah, on dry land, and uh, can he carry it this time, though? Playing his fourth shot after the third was wet. Frank, they threw him a life vest. He's back on dry land. And I hope this time he swings, he doesn't have the water wings on. So this is his fourth shot after the last one found the water. It's not Frank, not easy to keep your eye on the target when you've just splashed down. Yeah, but uh, on the flip side too, one bad shot doesn't have to lead to two. So it's been a tough hole. Previous shot went into the water, took the drop. This now, the sixth shot. That is a beauty, a real beauty. Jonas Blix, fourth shot. Just want to nestle this one down to within a couple of feet. Yeah, that's a good putt right there. From that distance, he'll settle. He'll need to be strong with this. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're looking your chops over that one. A shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Still playing even for the day after the par. Miguel Angel Jimenez for a double bogey. Drops not one, but two shots with that double bogey. Nudge this one home, finish it up. Drops it, and he's at even par. 
Frank, a long par three here at the sixth, 255 yards. Club selection obviously is crucial. Yeah, and length is uh, is very important here. Something that that can fly high and land soft is obviously going to make that green play a little bit bigger. If you get a breeze off the right or left to right into, this hole becomes very challenging. Well, this one should be safely on deck here. That one was running so hot. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. Frank, I hate to go negative, but let's clear a few things up. The penalties when you hit it in the water versus hitting it out of bounds. Yeah, some people, um, that's a good question, Rich, because some people think they're almost the same, but when you hit it out of bounds, you're actually losing stroke, a stroke and a distance. For example, if I'm teeing off on a, on a par four and I hit it out of bounds, I'm, I'm penalized a stroke for hitting it out of bounds and I'm hitting my third shot off the tee. When I hit it into a water hazard, um, I don't have to lose all of that distance. I can drop the ball up just short of the water hazard. So the distance penalty isn't the same as if it was out of bounds. Now on to his third shot after the last one went into the water. Twenty-one foot putt set to go. And he has it, Frank. I don't believe it. It's a little snack, though. Beautiful touch. Nice putt. Settles in over the putt. Frank, the seventh is a short par four, 346 yards. So I'm guessing it's a layup off the tee, but it might be a nervy layup because you have water on the right. And if you miss left, that's no bargain. It's very distracting looking down the right side. I think that's the easiest way to put it. But if you can break this hole down, 346 in the water, too bad. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop. This now the third shot. right where you want to be. Oh, wouldn't be better if it was on a tee. <laughs> Frank couldn't ask for anything more. Uh, just the lie there, too. It is sitting up like it's teed up. Has it? Maybe wet. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this line. Yeah. 
That will be a great look at birdie. Now the Swede with all sorts of personality, Jonas Blix getting set for his approach. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, I would say. Shot now from the rough. Frank, what's he facing? Well, the lie first and foremost. If it's sitting down, then obviously you're not going to get a very good contact. Nothing wrong with coming up a little bit short of the green. Problem is turning one mistake into another. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Wow, he needed that, Frank, in the worst way. Interesting to see what's, uh, what's ahead from now, whether that was just a flash in the pan or the start of something good. So with a make, moves to even par. 555-yard par 5 eighth hole. Frank, is this a two-shotter or a three-shotter? Uh, good question, Rich. It starts to shrink down by the walkway, which is around that 330-yard mark. Uh, that's the decision has to be made. Personally, I think you try it at first, because even if you do find a fairway bunker, then it is certainly a layup. If you've got the distance, uh, it's well worth the risk. Okay, the second shot now at this par five. Paying attention like a little kid at school, Frank. That baby's sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You don't even need binoculars from where that ball is. And from the fairway for his second shot here. steps up to take this shot from the fairway. Frank, safe to say, he is not having his best day out here today. What kind of advice do you give a player who's struggling? Well, you just almost got to forget what's happened. I know that's easier said than done. Just start a clean slate. Just with, just hit a good shot. Just find a fairway. Don't try and get too specific. There's, there's enough out there. The greens are big enough. Just find a piece of green. Find a piece of fairway. Maybe knock a couple of putts in. And then let it add up in your direction. Ball sitting down here in the rough. He's digging in. Coming out of the rough and right up next to the hole. Now the approach shot here on this par 5 eighth. Another good swing, and it looks like, Frank, another really good shot. <laughs> Getting 
getting set now over the putt. And at last, he has made a birdie. And what can he do from here, though? Is that the start of something? It looks like it is. Always get the sense that he could make. He is one of the game's premier putters. Snedeker for birdie. Good putt. And now one under par. Even par, currently. And he has it for birdie. Frank, the ninth hole, a par four measuring 452 yards. This is no picnic. This is the, the toughest tee shot on the front side. Uh, the easy way to bail out down the left side, it might appear that way off the tee, but then it becomes a zigzag hole where it's very easy to clock up something like a six. Uh, the bunker down that right side, just 300 yards to get past that, but, but it's almost like he gives you an option there. If you do want to challenge that right side, the bunker just might save you from going in the water, but uh, there's no question. The best drive is down the right, but it's the most dangerous one. Player really needs to be dialed in here. This approach shot is not easy by any stretch here at the ninth. That one is bunker bound, it looks like. That one is in the bunker. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is your green light special. This is a good-looking shot. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Nice position, short grass, second shot. Appears to be a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's going to fly all the way. and getting ready for the putt. Almost, wow. Well, you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. All right, so green side bunker, what's he looking to do with this shot, Frank? Well, really, you have to look at the amount of green you got to play with. You don't have to try and fly the ball right by the flag. Allow it to run. Plus, if you can get it to run like a putt, you never know. It might just go in. Licks for birdie. Gonna love that one, Frank. Sensational effort. No, oh, just eat it, eat that up. These putts keep the round together. Chases that in for par to stay at four over. Our attempt here. Makeable putt right here, currently sitting at one under for the round. 
So with that, the score is now at even par. Rich Lerner pleased to be alongside Frank Navalo for EA Sports. Back to PGA West, getting set for the back nine and the 10th hole. It's a good looking hole, Frank, at 416 yards. It certainly gets your attention, just the visual there. This is one of those holes, if you've got a caddy, you say, oh, what's that carry over the bunker on that left side where the water is? Uh, he'll tell you it's like 240 yards. And you say, well, what's it to the bunkers on the right? Well, to get past those ones on that right side, uh, you're in the vicinity of uh, 300 yards. This is, uh, this is a, a hole that you know, you'll scratch your head. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. Yeah. Appears to be tracking well. Wow, Frank, he is dialed in. Yeah, that was just some shot on that. Easy birdie. Second shot now for Jonas Blixt. Well, that's a, that's a little absurd, that Rich. The shot wasn't that hard, but it's come up uh, well short. Didn't appear committed through impact. Ready to go now on the approach shot here at this par 4 10th. Seems to like it. Headed for the fat part of the green. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Sinks it. Unbelievable. Standing over this putt, concentrating on the read. He's been doing this a long time, all over the world, making birdies. Miguel Angel Jimenez. That's a step in the right direction. Makes the putt and makes the move to three over. Trying to get out of here without too many bumps and bruises. This one is for bogey. And now one under for the round. Frank, how about this hole, the par 5 Long one. Oh, it is. And, you know, anything over 600 yards, only the longest it is, the Bubba Watsons, the Dustin Johnsons of the world, the other ones that can get home on a hole like this. For the other ones, even those bunkers down the left side are sort of in play. You at least have to give them a cursory look off the tee. Uh, nothing wrong with a hole, that, a par 5, that you can't reach. You can still play it as a three-shotter. And in some respects, you get rewarded for laying up here because that water that comes in on the left-hand side, that's not going to be in play.
second from an excellent lie. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. This is just a superb performance. Great round to this point, Frank, and you can really see that reflected in his mood today. Yeah, it just looks too easy. Uh, swinging the club beautifully. Ball's going exactly where he, where he wants it to. He's not trying to take too many risks. So consequently, he's getting birdie opportunity after birdie opportunity. Now the third shot for Snedeker. Now this is not hitting in the right direction. Well, it looks like it's going to be in the rough. That is always so disappointing from that kind of a spot when you come up short. Yeah, you're licking your chops over that one. A shot you think you could hit directly at the flag. Uh, now, test for the short game. This one doesn't look good. There's water over there. So, drop the shot after ending up with the water on that uh, recent miscue. Not what you wanted to hear, but this is the fifth shot after the ball went into the water. This has to go in the hazard. It needs to get up or it's going in. So, toweled off, dried off, and ready to go. Yeah, let's hope uh, this swing he hasn't still got the floaties on. Has to regroup, playing his fifth shot after hitting it in the water. Yeah, it's not all lost. Once again, check the yardage, check the wind, start again. Down, little Sheba. Down! Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Gonna take some skill now. Okay, good shot on the dance floor. He'll need to be strong with this. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Steady, solid, and at one under par right now. Putt drops, now at one over par. So he has that for bogey. I can't help but think that the double bogey back on the 11th hole seems to have shaken his confidence. Frank P. Dye always gets a player thinking what might be going through a player's mind right here. You're going to play it as a layup. You know, that's a given. It's just what distance you want. And, and for every distance you're going to hit it off the tee, Pete Dye gives you a different challenge. If you lay it all the way back, obviously you've got the widest fair. Then you've got the longer second shot. Get a little closer, it starts to shrink up, shrink up, shrink up. So how much do you want to buy it off? A great way to start a hole nicely placed in the fairway. What a great shot.
That's an absolute beauty. And the tee shot ends up in the bunker. Frank, another good scoring opportunity here at the par 4 12th. Yeah, just have to focus on where that flag is in relation to these little ridges and the mounds on the screen. It's called moat because it's protected all by that wall of sand down that left side. That's not really in play for this shot. If you're smart, use one of those little ridges. They can kick it towards the flag. Frank, the good players certainly aren't panicked when they're in a fairway bunker, are they? Just make sure your feet stay nice and firm in the sand there. There's a tendency to move your feet around a little bit. So yet another short iron shot into a par four here at the 12th. Uh, this looks like it's gonna find the target. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Beautiful roll on that one, right in the bottom. Licks for birdie. Nice putt, and now back to level par. Shouldn't be a problem here, but not a formality either. So with that, three over par now for the round. Frank, what do you make of this par 313th at 214 yards? It's another example of Pete Dye using those sort of very harsh wooden bulkheads that give you that such a definitive line around the edge of the green. Plus, it's his ability to turn a straight hole into a very angular or crooked looking hole. Not terrible, but not his best. Yeah, outside chance, really, for, uh, for Birdie, but um, really, it was a, a rather poor approach shot. Well, look out. This could be wet, Frank. It's heading towards the hazard. Frank, sadly, I've been there too often in the water. You get down on yourself. What's the right way to approach this mentally? Well, you've almost got to take a step backwards, Rich. Um, you, you, this can add up so, so quickly. So you went for the brief swim there, Frank. He's trying to stay dry now. He is. Uh, just trying to avoid water on the brain as well. <laughs> this will take a good swing. Third shot now, after the last one found the deep blue. Well, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that got punished for. And he's facing 100 yards here. Frank, what's so compelling about rivalries in sports is that athletes need each other if they're going to go to great heights. Joe Frazier needed Muhammad Ali to solidify his legend. Jack Nicklaus probably needed Arnold Palmer to go to a place that he had not been. And I think that's true across the board as we look at rivalries in sports. I think it defines careers, Rich. Uh, it's not until those players retire that they realized how important it was to have that, that foe. You know, so often we're, we're living in the, presence, in the present like we are now with Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy. And it's not for years to come that we'll realize the sport wouldn't have been the same with one without the other. Now a seven-footer. Frank, we hear the sports psychologists who often say, put the mistake behind you, live in the moment. Easier said than done. It is, male, female, it, it doesn't, uh, it, it certainly affects everybody that plays this game. And somehow you've got to you know, play, you've heard the old cliche, one, one shot at a time. But this is why it's so important. Because if anything from the past creeps in, it really does affect on what you do after that. Going to have to regroup now after that double bogey.
Frank, what's the best way to make three here at this 389-yard par 4 14th? Uh, I'm not sure, really. Um, you got I know there's two definitive options, you know, hitting it down the left or carrying over the bunker. And I think that's another example of Pete Dye. This is one of those holes you never really know if you've made the right play until you finish the hole. Well, the tee shot has landed in the bunker. Headed for the bunker, I think. Well, too bad. He'll have to play from the bunker. Good tee shot, right in the short grass. All right, Frank, second shot. Yeah, it looks like a good like. Um, just take maybe half a club more than the distance uh, distance allows. Still got to check the wind. Don't have to fly the ball all the way to the flag from here. Playing this par four, still not on the green after that second shot. But still not done. Um, a good third shot, maybe get away here with Park. This is a nice little 135-yard shot. TBC Stadium, of course, has played host to the Skins game, PGA Club Professional Championship, the Liberty Mutual Legends of Golf on the Champions Tour. I always enjoyed that. And along with the Jack Nicklaus Tournament course right next door, the finals of the PGA Tour qualifying school for a number of years. Moving into this second shot here at hole number 14. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Only thing that one was missing was the postage stamp, Frank. Oh, look at that. Air mailed that green. I mean, what a bad decision. Frank Ball is in the rough here. What are the problems on this next shot? Well, this is really where the skill level comes in. Uh, a good part, this is where you, the, the good player separates himself from the rest. Frank, what's the best way to get at the golf ball when it's sitting down just a bit in the rough? You have to accept the fact, first and foremost, that you're not going to get clean contact. So you have to decide whether the ball's going to come out short or it's going to fly. Because very rarely will it come out the normal distance of what you hit on the fairway. So if it's a little thin and wispy, chances are it might fly. If it's nestled down, you're going to have to take at least another club. That was a good-looking putt, just not falling right now. No, sadly, he's going to be disappointed. Locked in on the read and the speed. That was well judged, wasn't it? Ball sitting down here with the rough. He's digging in. Jonas attempting this for par. So a tester from four feet. Nice par to remain at two under. Just the tap in to finish the hole. Three over for the day. Well, Frank, we are turning home. It says so on the scorecard here at 15. It is, and once again, another example of great bunkering by Pete Dye. Um, bunkers on a lot of golf courses are just simply left and right. But what Pete Dye does, he lets them cut in. 
especially that one down the left side of the fairway it cuts in so it has to be avoided and uh, it's going to be about 280 yards to take it completely out of play uh, that's probably the best line is to get it just past that last bunker on the left side This ball's going, there's no fairway there, only rough. Frank, this ball's in the rough. Anything you change in your technique when a ball's sitting down a little bit? Um, yeah, you put the ball back a little bit further in your stance because you're going to get a bit of grass between the ball and the club face. So you have to allow for that. And keep that club moving. Um, that grass is going to be, is that, that grass is going to create a, a certain amount of resistance. Frank did the prudent thing there, didn't he? Yeah, in the end, really, you could have turned that into a disaster instead. Actually, a good chance, really, to uh, perhaps get away with par. Oh, this has taken off on a weird line. And it's going to be in the rough, it looks like. And that one rolls just into the rough. Now you have to decide whether or not that ball's going to fly or not. Now the approach here at 15. Good-looking shot right here. That's well played. Now a good look at Birdie. This is the third for Jimenez. He'll need to be strong with this. Birdie try coming up for Jonas Blixt. Continues to putt beautifully. These putts keep the round together. He'll take par and move on. Putt for par. Needs one. Has it, and he's two under par. Now to the par five 16th. Frank, this is a pretty solid hole. Like all the other par fives here, length gets a big advantage here. This hole, as you've mentioned, bends to the left, and that bunker can be taken out of play by the longest hitters. 326 yards will get you past that. Otherwise, there's sort of a V shoot down the right side that everybody else has to respect. Good tee shot, good lie, and now a good chance to take advantage here on this hole. Game's about rhythm. It, when you have good rhythm, it just looks effort, effortless. To hit the ball 300 yards through the air, that easy. Wayward from the tee, and this one is headed for the rough, Frank. 
Just in the first cut of rough, not a bad lie. The only issue is he might get a jumper here. Good recovery shot. Couldn't make the green, but at least he's back in flight. Played the smart shot right there. Nice position, short grass, second shot. And that one lands in the first cut, Frank. Interesting choice coming ahead here. It'll be interesting to see how he reads this lie. Right in the heart of the fairway, green light special. Now the third shot for Snedeker. And this one just seems to be moving a little left in the air. Not too bad. See if he can get this one to drop here at the 16th for a birdie. Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Ninety-nine yards away. Good swing, good shot yet again. Settles in over the putt. Oh, I thought he had that. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. Frank, that's not one you're necessarily thinking about making. No, just a uh, good putt, though. There's no two ways about that. He's putting well. Miguel Angel Jimenez has this for birdie. Well, there's an opportunity wasted. Just knocking him for a par, and let's forget about this one. Um, golf is not about perfect, but it's going to hurt the course. Rolls in the par putt, stays at plus two. Clean this up with a tap. Did the job right there. Not going so well for him. He has this for bogey. And that's a bogey. Well, we've arrived at Alcatraz, the signature hole here at PGA West. Moving a little left of the flagstick, Frank. Birdie try up next. A 
Not looking good, Frank. Uh, I think it's wet. Good news is, was able to retrieve the golf ball. Uh, yeah, on dry land, and uh, can he carry it this time, though? Third shot now, after the last one found the deep blue. Well, you can still minimize the damage here. It's only one bad shot that you got punished for. There's a big green, and they're going to use every inch of it. Either misjudged the win or simply just pulled the wrong club, Frank. Going to take some skill now. Well, once you hit double the par, it's time to just pick up and move on. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Here's the man with the best ponytail in the game. He's also a pretty good putter. Miguel Angel Jimenez for birdie. Just has the feel today. That's a par. Stays at plus two. One great hole after another here at PGA West. The finishing hole, no exception. Frank, what can we expect here? Great finishing hole. Uh, it's amazing. If you took the three bunkers uh, we're first going to see down the right side, this would almost be a nothing hole. But because they're perfectly situated here, they really shrink up that driving area down the left. So drop the shot after ending up with the water on that uh, recent miscue. Now on to his third shot after the last one went into the water. This has to go in the hazard. It needs to get up or it's... Frank, we've all been there. You hit one in the water, you're down. How do you regroup? You've got to start from scratch again. Um, everybody's going to hit bad shots. That's, that's just the nature of the game. But uh, compounding mistakes, that's the problem that you want to avoid. So hit the previous shot in the water, took a drop. This now the third shot. That's a good start to the hole right down the middle. This requires a lot of speed through the ball. Hazard? Maybe wet, extra stroke added after going into the water. Still going, and going the wrong way. This is the fifth shot after that previous one went into the drink. NASA, we have a splashdown. Not what you wanted to hear, but this is the fifth shot after the ball went into the water. Second shot now on the way for Brant Snedeker. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a 
difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Frank, one last critical approach shot here at 18. Well, if we see someone left of this flag that's not in the water, they've pulled their second shot. Well, that's a, that's a little absurd, that Rich. That shot wasn't that hard, but it's come up uh, well short. Didn't appear committed through impact. <laughs> Trying to move on to the next hole. This is a cross-country special. This one's tracking. And that just brings a smile to your face, puts a little pep in the step when you make them from downtown. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Well, double par here. Time to pick up and move on. Well, Frank, as we put a wrap on the day, it was plain to see he just didn't have his best stuff, but that's golf, and there's always tomorrow. Yeah, the beauty of this game, you're rated by your best and your worst golf. Today's not, I don't think, a fair uh, assessment of how good a player he is.